probability, fourth little topic, addition rule of a probability. Sometimes there is an overlap where more than one event can occur at the same time. So this is obviously talking about non-mutually exclusive events because a mutually exclusive event is they can't happen at the same time. Okay, so that means in a Venn diagram, there is a little common part in there. So we actually talked about a little bit in a previous um, video. So if we want to find the P, uh, probability of A union or A or B, with the mutually exclusive, we didn't have to worry about this part because there was no way they could have any common parts. But this time there is. So we need to take that overlapping away. Okay. All right. So that's not too bad. Let's have a look at the question. A card is drawn from a standard deck of cards, which is 52 of them. Find the probability of selecting either a two or a heart. So let's have a look. So probability two or heart. So remember roughs, guys. Read the question, understand the question, feel to the question, and then think about the right formulas, tools, and solve it. So we read the question, and then we understood that's what we have defined. And then now filter it, so collect all the information. So we got, what is the information we got? There's a 52 cards in the deck. And then if I was gonna go hearts, there's a 13 of them, isn't there? And then two, there's a four, because there's a four suits, like four groups. So there'll be four twos in there okay so we got that and then i'm going to think about what formula i'm going to use i'm going to use this one this is almost like it's saying two union heart so it'd be p of getting two plus p of a getting heart take away i'm going to get whatever two end heart which is just one, isn't it? Like heart of two, so it's one in there. So I'm gonna go, how many twos? We can get four out of 52. And then how many hearts? We get 13 out of 52. And then how many two and heart? Heart of two, which is one over 52. So if we do that, 16 over 52. Now I didn't simplify, but Go ahead and uh, make it simplify. All right, so that's okay. Next question, guys. Next question is 16 students study French, 21 students study Chinese, and there are 30 of them altogether. If one student is chosen at random, find the probability that this student does. Okay, there's three questions, both French and Chinese, or only French, only Chinese. Okay, before we jump into all these exciting questions, I think we need to um, understand the question, which is, I would actually sum, summarize this question into Venn diagram. So I'm gonna just do Venn diagram now. So this one is a French, this one is Chinese. It will help if you can see them. Yes. Okay, so um, we got 30 students and we have 16 French and 21 Chinese. Now, when you add this together, that's way over 30. How much over? Seven. Because 16 plus 21 is 37. Take away 30. So overlapping here is seven people is pretty much doing Chinese and French. What a talented kids. So, 
and then I'm just going to sort it out. French was 16, but that of seven of them is also doing Chinese. That can't be purely French people. So I'm just going to put that in there. Chinese were 21, but seven of them doing French as well. So I'm taking them out so I can get pure Chinese people there, like studying Chinese. Okay, so now I think, so if I add this together, you will get a total of 30. So I'm ready to do three questions. So let's have a look. A. So I want probability of, what is it? French and Chinese, which is 7 out of 30. Okay, that's easy. After you've done this Venn diagram, everything seems pretty simple and pleasant. Only French. Only French. We already done that one. So 9 out of 30. Don't forget over 30 because its probability is ratio, isn't it? And I'm going to simplify this for you. And then see only Chinese language they took, which is on 14 out of 30. Simplify 7 over 50. Okay, well done. So guys, remember to simplify into Venn diagram when it's a bit more complicated. And then you know what to do after that. Well done.